Well, hello. It's Easter. It's April. And it's cold. And by Monday, it's going to be even colder still. The threat of sleet and or snow. Hopefully not on the low down ground that is the lower Rumney Valley, but there you go. Anyway, welcome to the Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap for Saturday, Easter Saturday, the 3rd of April, 2021. I had to redo this last week and I think I forgot the app of the week. Anyway, it was Google Photos. That can't, hmm. The number of times people have said to me, I've lost all my photos. And have you had them backed up? Google Photos, cross-platform. Used to back up everything for free, and now you really have to pay for it. But backups are always worth paying for. If they're for free, then how do they afford the backups? You've got to have a sustainable place to back up your data and your photos too. So, um, if you've got a Chrome book or box, um, Google Photos goes on to Google Drive. Uh, usually very useful to have iOS and Android. And then the web satisfies my need for cross-platform thingies. There is one for this week, a app of the week, which I'll come back to in a little while. Anyway, the word or phrase of the week is obviously Easter. And uh, this time last year, Easter, lockdown, it was sunny. Well, it was sunny yesterday and it's semi-sunny today. But last year, it was really hot. And this year... Well, it is sunny, but it, uh, there's a chilly wind, very chilly wind. Anyway, I might, uh, if it warms up a bit, might pop out in the back garden for a bacon roll and maybe a burger. I did actually uh, cook a turkey crown yesterday, um, turkey at Easter, really rather good. Um, got it from Aldi, cooking the tray, made things a lot easier. I'm thinking Christmas as well, he says, hopefully. Anyway, um, yeah, so the app of the week for this week, yeah, okay, so perhaps related to this, um, still Christmas beer, Punk IPA, you can't beat it. Hello, I got a couple of um, cans from Tesco's. Um, Buxton Brewery and Buxton with Omnipolo. Really worth hunting down, especially if you like your hops, especially if you like Citra, which I do. So back to the app. Cross-platform Mac and Windows. Unfortunately, it's single license on each of them. Um, it's a thing called Parallels Toolbox. Now, if you've got a Mac, you've probably heard of Parallels Virtualization Software. This is basically all the utilities that you could need. Um, downloading videos, downloading MP3s, uh, conversion, cleaning up, tons of stuff on there, continuously updated. The only thing for me is, as I said, uh, you can't get a multiple machine license. Well, they, initially they said you could, but it turned out not to be the case. And they're all £15 a year. However, I, as you know, don't like subscriptions, but this is one I'm happy to pay for, or relatively happy to pay for. I recommend it. I really do. Got it on three machines. That's 45 quid a year. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, this time last week we were looking at, and on Sunday we arrived at a British summer time. The clocks went forward. Mornings got darker earlier on. And here's a unpopular opinion. Leave the clocks alone. Now, I'm a morning person, so I would much rather you left them on Greenwich Mean Time. Understand, people are 
evening people so a lot of people want them on british summertime but just leave them alone um there is talk of the eu next year maybe um picking one and staying on it uh, nothing's positive yet but please 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 greenwich mean time for the uk just leave it there early mornings being light are better especially for children going to school i think that's one of the reasons they were brought in in the first place along with scottish farmers there you are that's my unpopular opinion and while i'm on <laughs> criticizing things this week weather forecast both bbc weather and dark skies uh, i think it was tuesday or was it monday they were just completely wrong even as now casts <sighs> sometimes it's just better to look out the window and that's your weather but i know they're not 100 percent accurate but sometimes they're just completely wrong please get your act together especially if i'm paying for you there you go mind you um gardening uh due to the weather i should be planting tomatoes this weekend tomatoes potatoes although they are related um i have 22 tubers in bags and bins i'm not going to plant any more because tonight it's going to be frosty tomorrow night it's going to be frosty and monday definitely not the thing to do is to plant out so all that is delayed for another week not a great deal of global warming in the lower romney valley at the moment but what can you do and then then we had two days and they were the hottest days of the year so far mind you we were only in march at the time but they were boiling um, Ponty Park and it's in Harrod War Memorial Park as I think it's now called and I just banged the microphone it was packed to people um, and all fairly socially distanced the bridge by Marks and Spencers or what was Marks and Spencers is now open again there were even people fishing in the taff it's very low at the moment very very low there could be a drought oh talking of that my grass the grass that i planted that would be up in four days three weeks later it is now coming through sometimes you have to take a marketing spills with a pinch of salt or trust and because of that and the easter holidays and such like i bought a new pair of bap -daps. The last pair I had probably lasted about six months. Hopefully these will last a lot longer. Bit disappointing. Bap daps, sandals. If you're in Wales, you know what a dap is. And bap from John the Baptist. And then I think it was Thursday night. I was a bit cold in bed overnight, despite the fact I had a 15 tog duvet. I slept with the window wide open. I forgot to shut it that is a good sign far more healthy and um, well there you go and fresh air you can't beat it and as sports talk is saying all the time if anyone comes to your house open all the windows etc etc mm. people are going all over the place at the moment in wales and they're looking i think it's the 12th of april that's when english pubs english as in not wales pubs uh open their beer gardens if they have beer gardens and we will be able to go into england and consequently english people will uh, be allowed to come into wales yeah i'm working on the principle i'm not getting in a pub really until the end of june june may um, and that's either in Wales or England. Uh, I'm not a great fan of being outdoors in a pub, uh, even for beer festivals, surprisingly. Uh, however, I am still training. 
he says, looking down at the Punk IPA. Um, coming back to apps, Periscope shut down on the 1st of April. Not an April's Fool, by the way. I hate April Fools. I just don't like them at all. Periscope. Um, okay, so Twitter started doing Twitter videos. And then TikTok came along and basically did for Periscope. I used to do live beer tastings to Periscope. Oh, good. I'm going to sort of miss it, I think. But these things happen. What can you do? And then yesterday, yesterday was back garden. Yesterday was turkey cooking and sage and onion stuffing, which is lovely. Uh, all the stuff I let go cold and had with chips. The chips were made with potatoes out of the garden from the last couple of years. They were great. They were really great. Um, and I had a bacon roll in the back garden on bioethanol powered trangia. And then I watched For All Mankind. Uh, episode 6, Season 2. It's now really hit the road again. Really, really, really. Not really a spoiler, but it ends with I Fought the Law by The Clash. Worth watching. Very well worth watching. Anyway, um, if it's warm enough, I'm going to have another bacon roll out in the back garden. And although I'm not planting potatoes, I might dig the holes that they go into. Although I really don't want to. Anyway, happy Easter, everybody. Um, I need to get into my Easter eggs. And thank you for the feedback. And here's to the pubs opening. Follow the science or something like that. Bye-bye.